Hey Warriors, we have an interesting project today, building a snake game in Next.js. I always love these kind of projects when we need to create something in real time, like moving objects and stuff like that. Let's see the final product, what we need to create. So this game is really old and if somebody doesn't know the logic, we have a moving snake which is moving by its own and we can only change the direction, so up, right, left and down. And if we pick up this food, which is randomly placing through this grid, then the snake is becoming longer. And the rules are that we cannot hit the walls and we also cannot hit the tails. So if we do this, oh, I cannot even, yeah, it's game over. And also, if we hit a wall, then it's game over as well. Let's see how to build this one using React and Tailwind. Let's roll. First thing we're going to do as always, we're going to page file where we are going to delete everything that is coming from Next.js documentation. So here we can leave everything except justify between. We don't need that one. And we can add an age one for snake game. Also, we are going to go to the CSS, where is the default CSS from Next.js also, and the tailwind, we're going to leave the tailwind, so we can have this white screen. And now we can begin. So creating a components folder in the root, and there I'm going to create a component and call it snake grid.tsx. So there I'm going to use React snippets to create a component, snake grid. And that one is definitely going to be a client component because we are going to use a bunch of states. Let's import immediately this component on our home page. So snake grid, we import it like this. And now here we are going to need a grid. We are going to create 20 rows and 20 columns. So that one is going to be a square map for our snake to run across. And we are going to need coordinates for each square inside that map. So let's create our grid size so that's going to be just a number that's 20 so that's 20 rows 20 columns and also we are go going to need type point which is going to be x and y so we can know the coordinates inside our grid so that's going to be a number what happened i don't know a number and y also a number and we are going to use this to know where is our snake head currently so now for this div we are going to put class names of grid grid calls so we are going to have 20 columns and we are going to have 20 rows and we can put some border around so that's just going to be a visual representation of our columns there now we need to create an array of a certain number which is in our case going to be this grid size here that we created so length is going to be grid size and we are going to map through it first parameter we are going to ignore so usually we put underscore when we are, when we are ignoring the parameter and what we need is the second one which we are going to call y so that's our y coordinate in our map and then we are going to create a div and key is going to be our index and that's y and inside we are going to do totally the same thing but this time for x and we are again going to create a new so we need to close it like this and we need to create a new div and this one is going to be our square. 
something is wrong here we have these oh okay these brackets should go here and now we can create our div so here we need a width of 5 and height of 5 and also we can put a border we can use some gray 400 300 something like that and also i think it's yes it's the key should be x and now let's see what we get we need here flex to make it better and yes now it looks nice we can here put border black and here maybe 300 or yes 300 is okay so we have our map and we have our x and y on each square so we can now track where is our snake or that food that we need to create let's now start with creating our states so first state that we need is our snake so we are using whoops we are using use state by react here a hook and this snake is going to be type of multiple points so our snake is multiple coordinates here on our map and let's put in the beginning to be an empty array also what we need we need our food coordinates so food and set food this is that uh, red thingy that our snake needs to eat so for food we are just going to put a single point and in the beginning it can be just x0 and y0 but not like that but like an object like this yes now it should be good yep we're back let's display now the snake quickly so in the original game i think that's th the length of the snake is three so we are going to put the y to be zero and x to be two so that one is going to be this square here so that's zero one and two and we are going to put one and zero so our snake should be displayed here here and here in the first three squares now to display it visually we are going to put here in our class name let me just hit a couple of enters and here we are going to change to have dynamic tailwind classes so here i'm going to put the snake state so snake and to check if some of those snake parts i'm going to call it snake part to be more clear what it is if the snake part dot snake part dot x equals x and snake part y equals y in that case we are going to put background green 500 and now we have our snake displayed on the exact coordinates where we placed it here in our initial coordinates for our state snake let's do quickly the same thing for food so if food dot x equals x and food dot y equals y in that case we're going to put red 500 okay so now our food is here by default in the first square but we are going to change it to be random each time that the snake moves or in the initial state that one is going to be easy let's create that one quickly so that's going to be a generate food function and there we are just going to create an x which is going to be mat dot floor and inside mat random and that just multiplied by our what's it called grid size 
that one is the random x inside our grid then we need the same thing for y and then we just put set food to x and y and we can use use effect here to bring that like this so we can do it whenever our page renders so we can call generate food and now when we refresh each time it's on the new spot and we can even remove this one to put just an empty object yes nice that one is working let's continue now to be able to move our snake we're going to need our type direction and that one is going to be up or down or left or right like this like a string and now we can create a state direction and a set direction so we know always in which direction we are going currently and that one is going to be direction type and by default we are going to put down so we can start going from here to here down there so we have time more time to react if it goes too fast this one is actually complaining it needs to be type of toy point let's just return it to this one it's going to change either way while the game is running so now we can create also we need to know when our game is over so we can create a game over state game over and set game over we are also going to use use state hook by react that one is going to be boolean so it's just simply true or false in case the game is finished and now we need maybe the hardest thing here and that's the move snake function so for that let's create it here under the generate food we are going to create a move snake the arrow function and for that one we are going to need our state snake so we need to know exactly on which coordinate is our snake head so we are going to take to create a new snake and we are going to use a spread operator to take our state and then we need our snake head let's call it snake head and that one is going to be new snake and then always the first element of our state of our array basically or our coordinate however you want to call it and now we have our direction here which we are going to use to check in which direction our snake is currently going so we're going to put if direction equals to up in that case our snake head y equals to or we can just put it like this so up that means that we are going if we are here we are going here so from the three from the y3 we're going to y2 so that one is going to be minus equals to one then for down we're doing exactly the same thing except for down we are going plus equals one and now for left and right we are doing again the same thing but this time we are using the x so if we are going left we are if we are going from here where our food is now if we are going left we need to remove one index number so minus one 
and if our direction direction is right then x is plus one and this one should cover not should but it's covering all of our cases because direction has only four variants after that we can put the set snake to new snake so let's test it out a little bit how this one works so for this one we are going to create after this we can create a new use effect so this one can be clear with all the set intervals and everything so here for this one we are going to need snake and direction states and we are going to set an interval like this and set interval and we are going to use move snake function and we are going to do it in 60 milliseconds that one proved to be really nice for moving that's the moving speed basically of our snake and then we need to return and clear our interval like this okay so now if we refresh it's moving but it's moving only one head without the the other parts but we can see the speed we see that it's not catching the food let's continue our development everything should be basically now in move snake we need to catch if the game is over so if we hit the wall or our tails and we need to check if we caught our food so we can add another element to our snake let's check now if our game is over so if our let's go like this head snake head snake head dot x is less than zero so that is one condition so it's if we hit this wall then we need if our or again putting the head only snake head dot x is bigger than our grid size that's the right wall so we are checking this one if we are hitting this wall then we do the same thing for the snake head y so this y is checking if we are hitting the top wall and this y is checking if we are hitting the bottom wall and now we need a logic if we are hitting our own tail so we need to put new snake so if some snake part again we can call it snake part like this so to check if our snake part dot x is equal to our snake head dot x and same thing for the y coordinate of our snake part and snake head so like this in that case we are going to put set game over to true and we are just going to return to stop the function in case that the game is really over so now to create the logic for eating food first thing we are going to do is for the new snake we're going to unshift and basically we're going to, to use here the snake head so each time we are going to add one element to our array and we need to pop out the last element of our array so it can be like our head is moving and our tail and everything is moving with that head so now here we can just easily check if snake eats food so we can put the if snake head dot x equals to food dot x and if snake head dot y equals to food dot y so this is the case when our snake head and food are in the same square and if that happens so that's the moment when our snake eats the food we need to generate a new food somewhere and to allow this unshift 
to happen without popping out the last element. So this is how it should look. So here we can put generate food and else we are going to do the new snake pop like this, which is removing our last array, last array element from our snake. So if we eat food, we are adding one element. And if not, we are always adding one new element and removing one last element. So it appears like our snake is moving through our map. And let's test it out now. It's moving only once, so it's not looking that good. We, oh, this one is the, here we need to spread this head in order for everything to move together. Yes, okay. Now it's good, but what is happening? Uh, okay, yeah, it's, it's looking good. We can put maybe better the default direction to right. It feels kind of, yes, this one feels more natural to go to the right and not to... Yes, now, now it looks good. So what we need next is to, yes, and the food is even working. We had four squares now when our food was in the first row. So next thing would be to change the directions. So we need to catch our keyboard events and also to display the game over here. We can maybe display that one already. So there in our here, maybe above this creating an array thingy, we can put if game over state equals to true. In that case, we're going to create a new div, which is going to say game over. And that one is going to be absolute with the inset of zero flex. It's going to justify to center and items center also with text for Excel, maybe font bold and text red 500. Let's see how it looks. It's on the middle of the screen, it's nice enough. So let's now create our handle key press function. So that one is going to control our, uh, our direction for our state. So what we need there is our event, which is going to be the keyboard event like this and then because we are doing this inside the div element. So that needs to be HTML div element. Here it is. And inside it is going to be simple. So we are just putting if event.key equals to arrow up like this, that's for the up arrow. Then we are just going to set direction to up and now we are going to do that for all four so that's arrow down that one is going to do down then we have arrow left that's going to put direction to left and arrow right Put it to right. This one is complaining about something. Uh, it's just not imported from React. Okay, now we imported it. Now it's not complaining. So now we need to put this handle key press here on our key down. We're going to do that. Then in order for our div to be focusable, we need to put tab index to zero and out of focus. And now I think it should work. Let's test it out. So yes, I can move. Also, I can eat food, I think. Yes. Okay, for now it's working. Let's try to kill ourselves. Yes, we can kill ourselves. Also, if we... Oh, something bad happened. I don't know what. So if I eat my own tail yes it's working so what was that bug when i'm yes when i'm going down and when i press up 
in that case I'm dying because my head is starting to go up and my tail is up so that can be easily avoided so if arrow up and if our direction is not down and same thing for each here so if we are going currently down and if it's not up and here if it's not right and here if it's not left so we kill that pesky little bug let's try it now so if i go yes now it's good if i try to go down yeah it's working no more bug i can play my snake game and it's pretty awesome i gotta say so if we want to change our speed a little bit we can do it here where we placed it it's in the set interval here we can put it to be even faster i'm not sure who this one is really hard okay this is not playable i cannot even <laughs> eat that food or it can be really slow It depends on the game basically and that's the basic snake game functionality this challenge is really great for your coding skills you gotta try this one out and warriors if you'd like more challenges like this subscribe to this channel goodbye